congratulations way come back to another video today i would like to just make a really tiny video i just would like to talk about why we have exponentiation rules that we are going to derive later in the game starting next episode why there are problems when dealing with exponentiation. This is basically the topic of the video. My chalkboard is still a tiny bit wet, but it's gonna try out soon. So here's a little example and I hope my point is going to become clear once we calculate through it. Let us take a look at, for example, it really doesn't matter, 3 squared plus 2 squared. And this mistake that we are now going to derive is one that I see all the time. I have seen it at university when, when being a tutor there, or I have seen it in so many homework assignments from students around all grades. It's, it's just everywhere, this mistake. So we are going to calculate through it and then I'm going to show you what I mean by this mistake that we are going to um, talk about today. So, 3 squared plus 2 squared. Let us write everything out. Let us go back to the definition what 3 squared actually is. 3 squared is nothing but 3 multiplied with itself two times. So this is 3 times 3. Plus, okay, 2 squared is 2 multiplied with itself exactly two times, meaning this is 2 times 2. Now, we can just calculate for everything. 3 times 3 is nothing but 9 plus 2 times 2 is 4. Meaning 9 plus 4 in natural numbers is nothing but 13. Okay, this is 13. Now, many students think of distributivity, okay, so the regular distributive laws, also holding when we are doing exponentiation. And this is a really cruel mistake here. So, I'm going to show you something that many students do, namely, they just think about the two up here or some n, it could be 3, it could be 4, just the power, as being just a factor of those terms. So what they do is say, well, 3 plus 2 squared is the same as what we have up here. So they just factor out the 2. But here comes the problem. Let us rewrite 3 plus 2. Well, this is nothing but 5. And this is going to be 5 squared. Now 5 squared is by definition just 5 times 5. It's 5 multiplied with itself two times. But 5 times 5 is nothing but 25. Wait a minute. That's really wrong. Those two aren't exactly equal. 13 is not equal to 25. And this is a mistake that I see so often. Students think that we can just handle those squares up here like we handle natural numbers. But the thing is, if you just have something to the first power, so 3 to the first power plus 2 to the first power, it's just 3 plus 2, it's 5. Yeah, that does work. But as soon as we have powers up here, it becomes a bit more complicated. Okay, it becomes a bit more really more complicated. For this, we would need to use the binomial theorem. I'm going to present this in later videos. That's going to be a dedicated series um, revolving around that. But for now, just keep this in mind. It really doesn't work that you treat this power up here like any old factor that you would uh, factor out um, in the natural numbers. So, so it just holds in general that um, a plus b to the nth power is not equal to a to the nth power plus b to the nth power. Really doesn't work out. n could be 12, for example. Really doesn't work out. And this is the lesson that I want you guys to learn from this episode. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't be a bad student. Don't do this. All right? This is why we need exponentiation rules that we are going to cover later to simplify expressions like this. And then we also talk about um, um, completing the square, for example. It's going to be later. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you like, and want to support channels a bit more, buy those teachers, like, support channel, Patreon, until next video. Have a flammable day. Ciao.